Today we're going to have to make a heartbreaking decision. The only thing I can say is this episode is gonna make you feel all sort of feelings. Good ones and bad ones. She ran off back home. Yep. Oh wait, was that rug always there? That's really cozy, man. Hey, you're back early. What's wrong? I want to go... She wants to go explore the world? You want to go live at the residence? No. I want to go see the world with you. I think someone's gonna be very happy to hear her say that. Quincy's gonna be jumping for joy here. Smart decision. Smart decision. It really is. That job of her was too risky, man. Now, uh, the airport. Where are we going to? Hmm. We're probably waiting to board the plane. Flight to... I don't know... I, I actually don't know where they're going off to first. Where are they going uh, on a vacation to? <laughs> of course, Paris. I should have known the Eiffel Tower. I should have known. I mean... It was so obvious. Yep, that's the Eiffel Tower, alright. <laughs> we didn't even see the tip, okay. The budget was probably gone for the tip. They had to cut it there. Or the tip is just behind a paywall and you had to pay extra for it. <laughs> Bloody microtransactions. Well. Are we gonna... Like really chronologically? Yep, Stonehenge, of course. Okay, we're doing the whole thing. He's now discovering the, the real thing. I don't know, Stonehenge is not really something I'm intrigued to go and check out. I mean, it's just a bunch of stones. It, it might look cool and all, but that's about it. That's It's just a bunch of stones in the middle of nowhere. And, I mean, I mean if I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Do, please do, but uh, yeah, it's just that. And of course, the pyramids of Giza. It might also just be me, but I don't really like all the highly touristic areas. Nah, doesn't speak to me, you know. Way too many people. And if I went to, if I would go and visit them, I would go off season, like just go in the middle of the air. To only have to deal with the least possible m amount of people. Otherwise, what, what what have you seen? You've seen people, not the actual attraction. Uh, the Great Wall? I don't know, really. If I want to see it. I think it's kind of overhyped. Um, what's next? <laughs> Michelangelo. Okay, I've already seen Michelangelo. I've got to admit, this, the statues are pretty cool. They are pretty cool. It's not just one statue, it's, it, there's so many. You also got a lot of murals. That's how you call them, right? Murals? Couldn't take a picture of those, though. <laughs> also, it's, yeah, it's best that you see the back of him and not the front, because, yeah, that would be dick. That would be, yeah, that would be a dick. Nothing's covered in those statues. Not that it really matters though, because it's not like you're gonna see a giant schlong or something. It's like a tiny little worm though. Which was probably a beauty ideal back in those times. Oh, uh, there's no road anymore. Ha, <laughs> Venice. Another one of those way too touristic places. Hey, Quince. I'm glad we went on this trip. We'll come back again one day. Well, he's sort of not lying there. I mean, he ca he kind of came back. <laughs> also, still, what are these memories? 
This seems like a completely different timeline than what we were in. Like, in our timeline we didn't even know each other or something? And the murder? What was going on? Linroy? Oh no. Mm, it happened. But at least she saw the world. Before it happened. Are you alright? Yeah, just a bit airsick from the Bumby flight, I think. Are you sure? I've never seen you get airsick before. I'll give your doctor a call. Let's get you checked just to be sure. This better not be what I think it is. But the music already tells that it's not gonna be great news. This is just intriguing me more and more as how this fits with the murder mystery stuff and the memories and everything that's going on right now. Pregnant? Oh! So good news? Yes, so it seems. Congratulations! <laughs> Pardon me, is this not planned? I mean, no, but... But... But doctor, my files... Yes, I, I know about your condition. Then... Can I really still... Honestly, it's a legitimate concern. But... How do I put this? Most people have some form of hereditary risk factors to pass on, Lunry. Now, if it's something with extreme risk like Huntington's, the Terrans might be cold. But with other serious but common types such as cancer, then it's typically not. Your rather rare condition on the other hand... Although also severe, it falls somewhere in between. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not exactly encouraging it and there are other issues. But this is a decision that only you two can make. Let's say I was a woman and was in the same case as Linroy. I would go for the pregnancy. Because I would like to leave behind something of myself for my partner to be with in the future and to remember you by and not be lonely. Although on the other hand, if you think about it as well, it might also be something that anchors the other one down and not be able to continue life, not be able to pick up another relationship, or well, while well, maybe able to do so, but having already a child is quite difficult. Yeah, I don't know. This is this is definitely hard. What would you guys choose in this uh, in this situation? What are you thinking? Are we really considering this? I'm conflicted here. I don't know, but we have to make a decision. You did say you wanted a family, right? Yeah, but this is about more than just what I want. I mean, not so long ago, I was still preoccupied about my own livelihood. I suppose I've been doing well lately, but still... Maybe we can book some tests. Medical advances have come a long way. That only tell us the odds, it'd be a risk either way. And even with all that aside, to become parents at all. What about you, Quins? I mean, would you even want to start a family? She should know that the answer to that question is definitely gonna be yes. Honestly? Before my grandmother passed away, she was the only family I had for so long. I can barely remember being together with my parents, but I still remember the feeling. To have her own family? Honestly, that sounds rather nice. But as you said, this is about more than just that. I'm afraid, Quinns. Me too. But it's our decision to bear. 
For what it's worth, just know that whichever we choose, I'll see it through with you till the end. That is a tough decision. That is a tough decision right there. So, what are they gonna choose? I hope they're gonna choose for the child, but I fear they won't. They're really thinking about it. She really quits neuroscience, huh? Oh, we're almost through with the memories, I suppose. The data is almost done collecting. Yeah, they decided for the child. Yes, always choose hope, never choose fear. And right there. Yep, there's the heartbeat. Did you say heartbeat? I see it! And over here is the arm. We got an arm, Linry! <laughs> and the other arm. But what about the legs? The legs! <laughs> Whoa. Also, this must be quite meta for us to, like, see this whole life before ourselves, but not remembering any of it and be like, uh, this is us, this is our life, like, what the hell? We don't even remember our own child? Comfy shoes for sure, and don't forget your prenatal vitamin. But most importantly... Sleep, so you can have something to reminiscence about. Uh, yeah, that's gotta be someone random in the park they meet with the child, right? To ask for some guidance? I really love these... Little sceneries with each memory. Some effort has been put into them. Well, a lot of effort. Well, we were thinking Tobias if boy. And Gabrielle if girl. Oh, those are both lovely names. Dear, come on, this is wonderful news. Yeah. Take extra good care, okay, Lynn? I will. By the way, you know you can already find out, right? Wait, find out what? Gender reveal! We're gonna get a gender reveal! Here's the gender reveal! Woo! Is it blue or, uh, or pink? What's it gonna be? Well, it looks like... What is it? Yep, it's a boy. Doesn't really matter what, it's just you want to know, right? You want to get prepared. <laughs> oh, a children's shop. <laughs> oh, and this one. This look adorable on little Toby. That looks a little big for a newborn mom. Oh, Lynn, we won't have time to shop like this when the time comes. I mean... I'm not gonna say that I relate to all this, but I have a little nephew, and I can recognize this. Yep. How's this? Mm-hmm. And this? And what about... <laughs> this! Stop! You're gonna start on the baby! <laughs> ah, this is so beautiful! Ready? Here we go! Gender reveal party! It's a little anticlimactic when we all got spoiled already. I'm not gonna let you miss the chance for a reveal party. Well, at least you're not using a smoke machine. 
Uh, at least he's not using his liberal arts to do some weird gender reveal. <laughs> that you have to like look at it and be like, is it a boy or a girl? I can't tell. <laughs> I felt a kick! That was just my stomach growling. Oh, yeah. Maybe dinner first? Wait, was that your stomach too? No. That wasn't... Nope. That wasn't your stomach? Oh god, there's a tiny human st stuck inside of her! Quick, get a knife! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, imagine childbirth being like something you only discover when you are actually pregnant. <laughs> that would be fucked up. <laughs> yep, still beating strong in there, the little guy. The many visits to the gynecolo gyne gynecologist, however you call it, I'm again starting to fear. But you know what, let's choose hope. Let's hope everything will turn out okay. And seems like... Like? I don't like the like. Hmm? What is it? Is something wrong with the baby? No, the baby seems fine. It's just... Oh, you're not making this... No, you're not making this scary. You know, just out of precaution, let me book you a couple extra tests in the coming weeks. Mm-hmm. Well, that doesn't give you much confidence now, does it? What the hell? We will just continue on. Um... Your childhood home, huh? Yeah, I wanted to take you here for a long time now. If only we lived closer to it. Better late than never. By that, he kind of means that he wanted to come sooner, but okay. So, is this where you keep your nostalgic treasure? <laughs> well, there's always something. Also, I love how she is now living in the moment. And not thinking about having to... I don't know, make a mark on the world? Whoa, you sure read a lot as a kid. Yeah, I love to. It made me feel like I lived many different lifetimes. I mean, in her situation, that kind of makes sense. It's weird how I can imagine you saying that as a kid with a straight face. Huh? The Little Prince? Oh, that was the book that we found on our bed when we started the memory? Yeah. Yeah, my dad gave this to me so many years ago. It's strange how, as the years went by, its story meant something different to me. Hey, let's bring it back. Maybe we can read it to Toby one day. Mm-hmm. Toby? Yeah, that must be really strange. Getting to know you have a child, but not having any memory of it. Then Roy? Oh no. Y yeah, I'm okay. I'm just... Uh-oh. Not so okay. The child has not been born yet. No, the crib is empty. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I hope I don't give in to fear. Don't give in to fear. Keep on hoping, keep on hoping. The ambulance again. Last time we saw this scene. Nothing good came after. What did they discover in those... T oh, wait, what? That's new. Um, the door disappeared on us. But what did the tests reveal? 
are... Are you sure? I'm afraid so. We've run multiple scans. The development is acute, and it seems to be worsening rapidly. Why now of all times? And the baby? The baby appears to be fine, but... But? Well, because we caught this so early, there is time to treat you, Linry. But the child will not survive the treatment. That's good! It's not certain, but the prognosis is decent if we... Abort? If we start treatment immediately. Wait, to start immediately? He realizes... Is that okay? For the baby? Unfortunately, no. We'd need to prematurely induce birth before starting treatment. Induce birth? But it's too early! I know. We have facilities to try to keep the baby alive in that case. But... A birth this early is often not without lasting complications. And if we withhold my treatment until he's ready... Then we'd miss the optimal window to help you. There should be time for the baby to continue development uninterrupted, but for you... Even in the best case, the late treatment would still result in life-altering impairment. And in the worst case, well... Yeah, you don't have to say it. Doctor! We need you in room 5! I'll give you two a moment to think about it. I know it's difficult, but given its nature, you need to make a decision promptly. I'm sorry you have to choose. Oh. Oh, this is hard. What were we even thinking? Uh, no. No, you were thinking right. You were thinking of hope. It just boils down to the same thing, you know? At least you tried. Otherwise, if you would have aborted and you wouldn't have known where that road would have taken you. And now this is the same choice you get. You don't. You never know how your condition will, will evolve in the future. You don't know. But this is a tough decision and it's really hard to just do it right away. I, I can't, at least. I would never be able to, just in a blink of an eye. No, I could not. It's choosing between your wife or your son. I don't know. This is a, a heart-tearing decision. How did we... How did I ever think this would be a good idea? It's my fault. You wouldn't have if it weren't for me. That's not why I... It was all like a hazy dream, you know. Traveling the world with you, preparing for the baby. This past year, it was all so normal. Normal is good, normal is fine. I just didn't want to wake up. You should get the treatment. What? I'm saying it so you don't have to. Quincy... I'll do my best to take care of him regardless. But you... It's the only way that you'll even be able to. That's not fair to him. Neither would it be for him to grow up without a mom. That's... That's something we should have thought of way before. We made a mistake, okay? No, 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 no. This is not a mistake. This is not a mistake. I made a mistake. We can't change the past, but we can still decide from this point on. Quince. We can't lose you.
Ah. Dang it. I would have chosen hope, but fear is getting the better of us. So what what did they decide on? She decided to get the treatment. Yep. They got the treatment. And what became of the little boy? Did he survive? And in what condition is he? Okay, so are we gonna get the news now? Linrai! You're awake! Friends? How are you feeling? I... I feel okay. The procedure went smoothly, didn't we? We'll continue with the follow-ups. But so far, you're in the clear. And the baby? Hope, hope, hope. Come on. I need more hope from you guys. Come on, hope, hope harder. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Ah. Oh. oh no. No. No, the silence. No, the silence is killing me. No. Okay, that's the baby. I hear the beeping. He's stable right now. But we need to monitor him here for another couple of months. His organs aren't fully developed, and we're keeping him on a ventilator. But even then, our help can only go so far. But there's hope. I'm not sure how he'll do as he grows up, but it won't be easy. Do your best to take care of him, okay? Poor child. But he can be sure to grow up with at least one of them is going to be the best parent ever. Not sure about Lenra yet, but... She did throw her life around. At least the baby's still there. You know what, no, let's hope. Let's hope that the child will turn out alright. You don't know. Life takes unexpected turns. Be it for good or bad. You just can't let you get stopped by the if story. If, 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 if. <laughs> it's kind of funny how they never actually finish the wall. With the paint, I mean. Okay, so the child seems to be doing fine. It seems to be doing alright. They have some checkups at the hospital. That's probably routine checkups. Oh god, the tiny human is starting to learn to crawl. Oh wait, he suddenly grew up. Uh, like a lot. Oh no, he's he needs to be in a wheelchair. Okay, he's not that all right. Ah, uh. <laughs> the typical American school bus. We don't have that here, okay? We just have normal buses. And I, I, never, ta I never take buses. I hate buses. Oh, he can't even play sports with his friends. <laughs> so, he might grow up in the liberal arts now, huh? Just like his dad. Lama! At least he does have caring parents. Ah, oh, the child actually needs... Oh... Yeah. Yeah, it was clear enough. It wasn't alright. He needed some... Brephilator or how do you call those things? Dang. Even when it's his birthday? I, I, I assume because there were balloons.
Dang, this is heavy. Ah, this is heavy. We're almost through with the data. So, how is this gonna end? The parents, okay. In his current condition, do you think it'd be okay to go out to the lavender field? Linry. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Well, dang. I'm gonna check up on him. Dad? Where are Mom and Grandpa going? They're off to get you something real cool. So just hang on there, okay? Okay. Is he in his last stages of, uh... You know, I don't want to say the words really. It's getting a bit too sad for me. <laughs> the feels, man. The feels. Could use a little dusting, but still works like new. Yep. I can't believe how long it's been. Let's just hope the stars haven't left, huh? Trying to keep a little light mood. I wanted to wait until he was a little older. Why is that? Well, you only get to see it like that for the first time once. It's nice when it can be appreciated as more than just pretty lights in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Do you still remember when you first took me stargazing? How could I forget? I asked if you wanted to be a star or a lavender, and you said you wanted to be a star, so that... So that everyone else can see how lovely all the lavender are. I lied, you know. <sighs> she wanted to be the lavender. Of course she wanted to be the lavender. <laughs> I mean, at the time, it was silly. Just wanted to make you proud. But later on, though I actually did strive to be a star, it was never really because I wanted to. It was only because I was afraid of missing my one chance to shine. And I'm supposed to want to strive for greatness and leave my mark, but nobody is supposed to want to do that. You get to decide what your life is for your own. Some people want greatness, others want just a normal life. It's totally fair, man. Live the way you want to. Is it wrong if all I really wanted to be is just another lavender? There's nothing wrong with that. I would even applaud you for it, because that's what you want, and not what someone else wants that you think you need to adhere to. I hope I'm using the word right here, I think I am. I don't know about wanting to strive for greatness, Lynn, but... I know those who leave a mark off never set out to do so. Also, you've already left the mark by being alive, you know, you've left the mark on your family, your friends. The people you met in your life, you've met, you've left a mark on them. So, in a, in a matter of speaking, you've already left a mark on the world. But they do so, nevertheless. And often in the most unexpected ways. And hey, whether you like it or not, you sure still left a mark on me. Ha! <laughs> but I was first, Bill. I was first. <laughs> 
<clears throat> I mean, sure, it might not mean something to the whole world, but... Meaning the whole world to someone still counts for something, right? As you do to me, and as I'm sure Toby does to you. I know you still blame yourself, Linru, but that won't do any good. Nobody's here forever, so all we can do is to make the most of what we're given. And that includes time. So, let's go take him to see the wonders this world still has to offer, hmm? Yeah. Off we go to the field. There's also a lot of stuff here in the attic. I mean... The attic is always a collection of memories, isn't it? Old stuff collecting dust of past times. What was that? Don't you dare tell me! No, don't you dare tell me! No. No. Toby! Can you hear me? Please, uh, just, just send someone right away! <laughs> no, he's not. Toby! No! Oh. <sighs> you poor little boy. You poor innocent boy. Wait, where did he disappear off to? What? Fuck. Mm. <sighs> Where's the boy? Where's Toby? Oh, this is a cemetery. Oh, this is a cemetery. Ah. Uh. How do you deal with losing your child? How do you deal with that? I mean, losing your parents is just a natural way of life, you know? It's bound to happen at some point, even though it's sad to think about. But losing a child... I can't even imagine... This game does a really great job at portraying the situation. But she went back to the... No. She... Oh, she's gonna live there now? Is she blaming the relationship with Quincy? So the project is still on, huh? Losing her baby made her push for work, huh? At least she isn't blocking us. At least she's letting it ring. Even though that's a really grim outlook on the situation. So I guess the project was a success in the end and eventually she underwent it.
And like I said, the different, I don't know, timelines that we've seen are just this world, this memory of her. And we are, what, something alive in here? Almost there, just a couple more parts of the memory to collect. Everything's ready for tomorrow's presentation. Oh god, they've aged. The tests all went through without a hitch. Great work, Hal. You should go get some rest. They'll be here early tomorrow. You're still working? Yeah, one more test never hurts. Ah, not gonna argue with you there. And then something happened during a test, no? It's gotta be. She's not just testing it, huh? She's actually... Okay. Initialize. Welcome back, Doctor. System, run a stress test via artificial memory convergence. Please choose test entity in preference. And she's gonna use us, Quincy. Search memories for snow. Wait, there! Go back! Yep. Quincy. And we're- oh, this is meta. Now we're gonna see ourselves watching her- Watching a memory- whoa! Wait, it's playing back. Ah, because she wants to relive this from the beginning. Right. <laughs> Their first date. <laughs> I suppose. Entity selection confirmed. Keep personality and traits. Here we go. We are a memory. Well, more or less, it's weird. I don't know how to explain this. Yes. Keep extrapolated memories. No. Use generic memories. Whoa, what? That's boring. Generic memories? Please select memory setting for artificial insertion. It doesn't matter. Ch choose one for me. But what's up with the murder mystery then? That's random. Memory loaded. Visit at you, Haynes Estate. That's fine. You just put an umbrella there? Wow. Does that mean that the... F oh, sh so she inhabits the person. So it's actually her, it's not just a memory or something that we see. 
initiating foreign entity to memory setting. Entity activation in three, two, one. Data collected. Something about the intro seemed weird to me. I, I couldn't pinpoint it, but now it makes sense. That's all the data. And now we're just gonna run into our body and... It's gonna start from the beginning again? No? No? No. Ah, we can leave the room. Or she's gonna join us, okay. So, you've reached the end. Are you actually? Yup, but way older. I know you have more questions, but... I have an urgent theory that needs your help testing. Would you come back to the mansion with me? I don't really have a choice, do I? Nope. No we don't, apparently. Hmm, apparently we're just a computer simulation? Are we though? Or are we more? Start yelling out that you're alive, that you're a real boy with real feelings, not some puppet made by a computer. <laughs> act 3. Okay, that's gonna be the final act, I suppose. If you enjoyed, please do hit the like on the video. We'll continue this in the next one, which will be the ending. See you over there. Ciao!